Hey guys, this will be a comparison video between the LG Aristo 2 and the LG Aristo. So this is the second, this is the second iteration of this phone, this original LG Aristo. Now both phones, let's take a look at design really quickly. And at the front, both phones look very similar with the same five inch display. Five inch display. And both are 720p display. Um, and both of them actually have 13 megapixel cameras and five megapixel front facing cameras. And this one has a quad core, um, quad core processor. This one also has a quad core processor. And yeah, so specs look pretty similar and everything looks really similar. But the difference comes in design. So the design of it actually looks pretty similar with almost the same size here. But if you go to the sides, a little bit of difference. So I can tell right now that the LG Aristo 2 is a bit thicker and the buttons are more spaced out here. If we go to the bottom, basically the same. If you go to here and they are still using, both of them are still using micro USB. And on the side, there's nothing really except for this thing to take off your cover. And at the top, there is a microphone. Very, very similar in terms of button placements. In the back, also very similar power, power button and then two cameras and LED. And no LG logo here, but at the bottom actually. And then speaker, so in the very similar spot. The overall design, this one's actually the blue version, which is pretty cool. Um, this one has this really chrome accent that I really don't like because it doesn't really blend in with the blue. Um, kind of looks like the LG V10, if you guys recall that one, but looks pretty nice. And the back cover has this really weird ridged design, like it reminds me of Ruffles, the potato chip, because and has a pretty satisfying feel to it. Um, but still feels like very plasticky and the back feels extremely raw plastic. The side actually has like kind of a glass-like finish. It's very shiny, so it does feel less like plastic. Let's take a look at the, the second generation of the Aristo. The back has a mirror-like finish. Almost is switched sides because the side now has a very plasticky finish. Like this one, sort of. And this one sides have the back of the Aristo 2 light finish. And I like the design of this better because, you know, the shiny kind of makes it look like glass, which is a much more premium choice for materials. And the side is also, I mean, when you hold the phone, this feels nicer because of the sides. But when you look at it, this looks nicer. So it can go either way, but I think both are pretty good. From the front, I definitely like the clean look of the Aristo 2 better because of there it doesn't have this stupid logo on and it, I don't like this accent of this. It just looks really clean with no, not really that many accents or anything. So the performance should be the same. No, because the performance on this one, the Aristo 2 is actually much better, I found. Um, and it even can support multi-window, which I was very surprised with because most of the phones at this price, because this is a very inexpensive price. Um, and one of the advancements that come in this phone in terms of specs, this is two gigabytes of RAM, while this is 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, and that may change a lot of stuff. So I do a lot of show social media, and when I just browse through Instagram or um, Twitter or anything like that, or YouTube, I see quite a lot of lag with this phone, the Aristo. But with the Aristo 2, uh, I don't see, I don't feel any lags, not much lags. And I only have lags when I have a ton of um, apps open, which it should happen, makes sense to happen. The Aristo 2 also, I mean, the, the original Aristo also doesn't really do that that much but it definitely occurs more than the Aristo 2. And this one doesn't even support multi-window, which 
I use a lot and it's really useful. If you really need that feature, definitely go with this one. Now, but the real question is, do you really need to upgrade? Because the camera is pretty much the same and the quality of the pictures are very similar. The speed, I think maybe it's a little faster on this, but they're both really slow. They're both really, really bad cameras. And in terms of battery life, the LG Oriso 2 is definitely better um, because it actually has the same battery, but this one has, I think, has a more effective chipset. And this one has a newer Android version compared to this one. So if you take a look, the bottom buttons, this one has a very special pixel-like effect while this one's just a normal Android um, 7.0 effect that it's not that pretty. So if you go here and if you go to software info, as you can see, this one is Android 7.1.2 7 .7 while this one is Android 7.0. So this one's much um, more, much better. And I don't know if you can tell from here, this is actually a very great screen to be on to tell the difference between the displays. This display is infinitely better than the original Risto. If you can't see here, they're both IPS displays and they're both 720. But one has a much, much better saturated color, much better white than this one. This one has more of a yellowish, greenish white. So you can tell a huge difference there. Um, definitely much better on this one. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my full review of the Aristo 2, then please do. I will talk, I talk a lot about display and I really, really can't emphasize enough that the display on this thing is amazing and watching videos really has a really great experience on it. Now the, that was, this display is the major, dif the biggest difference between these two phones, um, besides performance and battery life, the, but um, that definitely has the biggest um, effect. The software for the most part is pretty much the same. As you can see, you have to pull down again to reach the settings bar, but that's very minor. And yeah, and both of them have Google Assistant. So that's pretty good. So yeah, final, final thoughts. I think it's definitely worth an upgrade. I mean, this one just came to Metro PCS, $59. Definitely, I definitely think worth the upgrade because of even just the display and the looks of the back. I really think it's worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up and please subscribe. And thanks for watching.